Hello. Hello. Sir David the Bard. I'm coming to you from uh, Malibu, California. I'm hiding under the um, lifeguard ramps, towers here. And I painted myself the color of sand, and I'm just laying here. No one can see me, so not even the Danites can find me here. Well, I had a wonderful experience uh, yesterday. I told you my uh, wife is still uh, in the cult. <laughs> As you might say. Oh, I took her and a couple of girlfriends, not girlfriends of mine, a couple of her girlfriends, uh, down to Temple Square. And uh, they got to see three million lights and their tithing going to the electric bill. Anyway, I have to tell you something that happened to me this morning. And, and maybe some of you can relate to this. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't like to go out of the house anymore because the world is infested with assholes. <laughs> And I have a big sign on my head that says, if you're an asshole, hassle me. I go, oh, God, I'm just trying to be a kind, sweet atheist. I don't talk to people. I don't bother people. I help old people. I took a lady home today uh, in the snow. Uh, well, here in California, you got to be up here by Lake Tahoe, and, or not Tahoe, Big Bear Lake. Uh, so anyway, um, I had to take... Um, a lady because it was too too cold here in Malibu eight degrees is damn cold I'll tell you that right the waves come in and they just freeze and then roll up like glass on the beach the surface all cut up anyway I had to get gas uh, before I drove this lady home so I pull in the gas station I happen to have um, Allison with me and she loves to fill the car up with gas She'll be 11 uh, you know, in three weeks. So she loves to get out and use the credit card and the whole thing. Well, it was so cold, uh, the pump wasn't working well, or I don't know what was going on, but she couldn't get it to go. So I had to open my door up and uh, go outside and help her. Well, <laughs> my asshole sign was showing because the guy next door to me, I don't know him. He don't know me. Oh, me, don't play that way. He's not rolling the right way. So I'm out there seeing, you know, saying to Allison, do this, do that, whatever. And I start to get back in the car uh, with the two or three other people that were in there with me. And Allison wanted to run in and get a Coke or something in, in the gas station. So as I'm starting to get back in the car, he yells over at me. Now, I don't think he knew this was the bard. I'm, I'm not sure, but he didn't look all that smart. And I can tell you, he looks over at me and he says, you need to turn your engine off when you're filling with gas. This whole place could blow up. I should get better and get used to people being obnoxious like that, especially uh, when I'm in Utah. Uh, he's the elders quorum president and he's in charge of the whole ward. And uh, now he's in charge of the bard. Well, he ain't in charge of the bard. So I looked at him and I said, hey, did you take your damn meds this morning? And he's so stupid. He goes, well, yes. <laughs> I just get back in my car. <laughs> I'm going, God. <sighs> if there's a God and he made these creatures, he's stupid. That God is stupid because his children are absolute buffoons. <laughs> so Now, I'm saying to myself, you know, I, I'm not without safety. Um, back in the old days, I mean really old days, when you pump gas, uh, the filler caps were very large and the fumes would just come out like crazy. And most guys had a cigarette <laughs> smoking while the fumes are coming out. Well, that makes sense because it's going to blow up. But, you know, this is a brand new car. And it has that little tiny flap in it. The, the pump ha uh, nozzle has to push it down. So there's very, very few fumes that come out, and I wasn't smoking. Now, I don't know about you, and of course you foreign countries, you watch me. I've got 207 foreign countries that I've gone into, and tonight will be 600,000 hits. Thank you. You're wonderful people. So <laughs> how many times... In the last 12 months, have you seen a gas station blow up because someone didn't turn their engine off? It doesn't happen. 
Now, yeah, I remember the video where the, the young man was an idiot, and I don't know if he put his hat or something down into the gas and then lit it and threw it on his girlfriend. Well, his ass is in jail for that. He did that at a gas station. Uh, I've seen people uh, run over gas pumps. Nowadays, we have automatic shutoffs. Gas pump gets knocked off, or if you yank a hose off, it doesn't blow gas like it used to in the old days. Modern uh, hoses now, they just shut off. They don't pump anything. And the, the hoses back in the old days, they didn't shut off. Back in the old days, you were pumping gas, and if you were holding that thing, it may not turn off at all. It just spills out on the ground. You go, oh, hell, it's full. And <laughs> you hang it back up. So anyway, the, the, the gas station police attacked me. I wasn't even out of the house. 45 seconds. 45 seconds and God looked down and said, there's the bard. Screw with him. <laughs> so they they sent this bazoom. Now that's a that's a Filipino word for vagina. Bazoom. Uh, baffoon is what I meant to say. So if there's any Filipinos watching, you know, it's just a slip of the tongue. Anyway, if you're going out this morning, get your asshole sign covered up with a hat. There's so many of them out there. People with no lies, people with uh, no dreams, no uh, power, no authority, but they're going to tell me to turn my engine off uh, while I'm filling up the gas uh, at the gas station. So anyway, you guys have a good day. <laughs> Stay away from all the bazooms out there. <laughs>